Hello, my hearties, dinky doo, it is just me, Scotty McClue, and we are, of course, live on Facebook Live. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our random pop-up. Excellent, lovely to have you with us, and, of course, dinky doo, you'll see tonight we are streaming in landscape. Do you like that? Is that of interest to you? Do tell me. And uh, the only thing is I'll be looking down here to see your comments. Wonderful. There's Carl, Carlos Donnelly, Dinky Doo, and a very warm welcome to Scotty McClure's pop-up live just for you. Tell everybody about it, of course. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that Scotty McClure is live streaming live on Facebook Live just for you. Wonderful Rod Hardest is watching Dinky Doo, Rod. And, and uh, loved all your stuff from last week. Fantastic stuff. Hey, 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 says Angel Snedden. Brian Keswick's watching Dinky Doo. Brian, lovely to have you with us and a warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster. And we are, of course, live, big style, just for you. Hopefully you got some warning. You saw the promo this afternoon and you know that we're here. There's uh, Susan watching Dinky Doo. Susan, lovely to have you with us, of course, down in Lancaster here there. Excellent, excellent. Dinky do good guy, says Brian. Hi, Brian. Comics watching. Comic McCusker. Rod smiling. Uh, David Distant. Dinky do good evening, persons, ladies and gents. There we are. Rod, if you want to Skype and we'll have a chat about the old days, that would be great. Uh, wonderful. All right, Scott here, says John. Carl Carlos Donnelly. Hope you're staying well. And you, Carl Carlos Donnelly. Ross Perrins. Dinky do Numpty Heads watching. Welcome, Numpty Heed. Lovely to have you with us and a very, very warm welcome. Excellent stream tonight. Scotty, I've stopped watching the darts final to watch Dinky Doo Scotty McClue, says Jim Fergie Ferguson. Do you know, Jim Fergie Ferguson, I've just come from streaming live on YouTube on the Scotty McClue YouTube channel and uh, they were saying, yes, that's what they've been doing. There's El Salvador Stallione, saviour, says let's Skype. The wonderful Lynn Donnelly's watching Dinky Doo. I'm due to uh, to have a meeting soon. Um, so there we are. Corona, while the iron's hot, absolutely, let's get it discussed and see what is what. We have the trusty Skype. We had to abandon a broadcast before because an idiot had uh, used it, misused it, abused the Skype. But uh, we're on the Skype, so we can take live calls. How fantastic is that? Do a bit of sharing. Let everybody know that we're live. I'm just going on there to do exactly that. Um, so there we are. Sold out of toilet roll in the shops. Yes. Hand sanitizer. They must be rubbing their hands. <laughs> Very good. The manufacturers are rubbing their hands. Dinky doos is Chris Furry. Wire flights still arriving in Scotland from northern Italy with no containment measures in place, says the clever, clever Martin Monaghan. I don't have Skype, says Rod. Oh, well, that's that out then. Uh, best not to bother then. So there we go. I'm just going to set up the Skype and we'll have a word with uh, Sylvia. Uh, see how he's doing tonight. Uh, get that sorted out, I say. There we go. A little bit of that. We're wonderful. We have all the facilities. We're getting there. Guys, thanks for all your generosity. Uh, PayPal.me forward slash Scotty McClue. A lot of you popping a few pounds in there. And thank you. Because it means we can do advertising. We can get equipment. What have you. <coughs> William Henning, Jimison, Dinky Do, Craig Walker, Dinky Do. Um, you can download Skype Rod. I don't know what your setup is, but it's just a, a free download and then you can get your calls. Um, so there you are. We can chit chat. It would be very good to hear you and your marvelous program, of course. So there we are. Right. Um, what has got is asking me here, um, to sign in. So I have to see if I can remember what we do for all this. There we are. Um, I shall do that. Now then, um, can I remember what's going on here? Let's try it. <laughs> Wonderful, isn't it? Yay. Wonderful. And see how we get on there. Good. I'll just come to you all in a second. Keep going. Yes. <laughs> Right, I'll try this and see. It may work, it may not. 
Who knows? But we can but try, I always say. God loves a trier. Wonderful, right. No, that's not doing it. So let me try this one. There we are, folks. Excellent. Right. Let's see if we can get that on the go. Who knows? Oh, wonderful. So we're getting into Skype, so we'll be able to talk to people live. Pig Walker, Dinky Doo. Hello, Dinky Doo. Any spare lural? Now, guys, I'm on TikTok. I don't know if you follow TikTok, but if you are, hello, Scotty, says the wonderful Susan Forrest. Dinky Doo, Susan, down in Lancashire there. Now, um, I'm on TikTok late last night. A few things to tell you, lots to share with you, because it's a while since we actually sort of shared. Uh, so there we are, just signing into Skype, and then we can have a word with uh, Mr. Stalioni. So there you go. And uh, I did a pop-up, and I appealed to the world, because it's uh, international, and I appealed to the world. I said to them, stop panic buying. And in particular, stop panic buying Toilet roll, loo roll, lavatory paper, whatever you want to call it. And I looked tonight and a thousand people had seen that. Now, there is a public service television channel, public service broadcasting. See what I just did there? A television channel and apparently their viewership can be down as low as 4,000 to mainstream television programs. I did a tweet, one tweet, and 28,000 people have seen it to date. One tweet. Yeah. I've popped up here on Facebook Live, and almost 30,000 of you have joined me. You know? Now, with all due respect, these big social media channels, there's so much media on them. This is saying, come and join us. Why would they not come and speak to Scotty McClue first thing? Because there's two famous sayings in the media. One is, if you're starting a new radio station or a new television station, your first port of call is Scotty McClue. Because I can offer all that experience and that track record. So that's your first port of call. The other great saying is, whoever has McClure has the market. And that's been proven. So there we are. Wonderful stuff. I think the full moon has rather affected my mood, says Angel, because the kids finally moved out to live their life. They don't know it yet, but the bank's closed. I'm back to 1985. No Wi-Fi and note. So there we are. Angel's taking a tough line with the bairns. Wonderful stuff. Good evening, Angel. Lovely to have you with us. Good evening, Scotty. Dinky do, says Jackie McCauley Brody. Lovely to have you with us. Harry Nollis is watching. Excellent. Hi, Scotty. And give me a shout out to Peter Kelly from the Kelly. Yes, Dinky do, Ewan McClure, says John Hanlon. Dinky do, John. Lovely to have you with us. All you need is a radio station, says Gordon Riley. I know. Absolutely. Um, I, I did have one for a, a couple of years, but we had a stewardship problem. So there we are. Uh, Jill McKee, Dinky Do, the wonderful Gordon Roddick's watching. Gordon very kindly Skyped in a couple of weeks ago and talked to us about the early days of Scottish television. Fascinating. Wonderful man. So there we go. Uh, Robert Mooney, Dinky Do, I'll look into Skype, says Rod. Yeah, you just download it. It's just a, an app, Rod. It's, it's no problem. It's something you could do standing on your head. Well, I wouldn't advise that. Not good for your, for your blood pressure. So there we are. Um, are we all watching? Have we told 10? Have we shared? Can we have a massive share right now? And guys, I've got housekeeping for you. Those of you who have got Alexa, set up Scotty McClure as a skill on your Alexa and um, store me in your uh, routines. Pop me into your routines and store me in Alexa. So you can say, Alexa, play Scotty McClure. So there we are. Uh, excellent. Look into Skype. Now, I'm just getting started here on the old Skype. Wonderful. 
So there we are. Excellent. And we'll see what's what. Oh, here we go. Now then. And we're active. That's great. So there you are. So we should be all right. That's fantastic. Active. Good. And uh, wonderful. So that's up there. So I think we should be good, good to go. We should be good to go. Yes. Right. So there you are. Right. I think we're good to go. So try it, Mr. Stallione, Savior. Um, Gillian Patterson and Joe McKee, says Angel. Joe McKeon's watching. Lovely to have you with us. Joe Rod's going to look into Skype. Chat amongst yourselves, says Gordon Riley. Thank you, Gordon. Very kind of you to help with the stewardship of tonight. Great score today, Scotty, between Scotland and France. So Stuart Neely, yes, the rugby, very good. Big rugby player, McClure, you know, down first. Boom! Right in there. Fantastic stuff. Uh, I'm trying now to ring, but it's not working. Says Mr. Stallione, are you Scotty Dot McClure? So there you are, Scotty Dot McClure. It should be working. You should be able to get straight through. Wonderful stuff. What have we got here? Yeah, no, you should be able to get straight through. Yes, that should be working absolutely fine. Yep, all there, and then it's ready for the chat, the calls. Yes, contacts, there we are. So uh, I would try it and uh, see how you go. Scotty Dot McClure. Murray O'Donnell's watching, wonderful. Are you okay, Scotty? Is Harry Knowles? I am Harry. Harry down in, is it Anne in there? A uh, dinky do says Danny Joe. Dinky do Danny Joe. Is Stallone from Italy, says Gordon Riley. Talk amongst yourselves, Gordon. Um, see what I just did there? I was watching you on YouTube. I thought I'd missed you. Um, by an hour, and now you're here. What's going on, says Paul Mack. Excellent. We're very, very busy, Paul Mack. Uh, if so, I'm off, says Gordon Riley. Uh, what's, what are you off for? Wait till we see. No, no, he's not from Italy. No, no, no. He's from Manchester. Flights from Northern Italy should be stopped, says Martin. Fair comment, Martin. So there we are. Uh, Lisa Terrace is watching. Thank you, do Lisa. Um, and uh, was that over the five years? Says Gordon Riley. Was what over the five years? The flights from Italy. No, the coronavirus is relatively recent. Share to 100,000. Shared to 100,000, says Martin. Good, Martin, because we need to start upping the ante, right? We've had about four years now of Facebook Live, and the figures have been huge. Millions have now seen it. Genuinely, millions have seen it. And we've got almost half a million on YouTube, and I've started doing live streaming on YouTube over the last maybe a couple of weeks, three weeks, something like that. And it's starting to pick up. A lot of young people being a wee bit silly and what have you, but we can put them in time out and we just give them a lifetime ban and they'll never, ever be back. So there we are. Fantastic. Uh, the wonderful Linda Ireland, Dinky Do, I salute you. Lovely to hear from you. Top lady. Uh, Tony Mac, I can't understand why people are panic buying toilet paper when the coronavirus is airborne. Uh, yes, you're not going to catch it off the loose seat. I can tell you that, uh, um, well, I suppose, technically, um, you could have somebody that had, had it had been sitting on. But you see, virus, viri are actually quite weak. Viri, I would say, is the proper term, not really viruses. Viri are quite weak, and they have an incubation period, what have you. And they don't live for terribly long or live very well outside of the human body. So it's, you know, it's the, the warmth of the body that attracts them. That's the thing. So the coronavirus, um, you know, we'll have to see where it goes. But certainly panic buying toilet paper, I don't understand because as far as I understand, uh, you know, there isn't any gastric element to it. You know, you used to get these things and they could give you uh, sickness and affect your bowel. Uh, Scotty, when was the last time you went to Kerry? Says Harry. Oh, I, I think I must have emceed and chaired Kerry's well into the hundreds. So there you are. I am a top Kerry man. I can tell you. And I was very, very lucky. I coughed at a traffic warden today and he ran away, says Paul Mack. 
So you're a warm-up act, says Gordon Riley. Yes, Gordon, I'm, I come on with a, a small heater and uh, make sure that everybody's nice and warm. So there you are. That's what I am. And then the big picture comes up. Scotty McClure, the world's top talk show host, comes on after me. All right, so there you are. So you can get that. Has everybody shared? Come on, get sharing, guys. Um, uh, we're forgetting ourselves here. And I've got so much housekeeping for you. And can you get liking the Scotty McClure pages and following me? I've got about a thousand of you waiting. Um, so there we are. But I don't know if I can get any more friends, but follow me on Facebook. Let's start getting things living a bit now. I've been coming on for about four years and we should, uh, the audiences should now, by now, be through the roof if you doing your stuff. And I know you get a lot of stuff through from Scotty McClue, but it's all very good stuff. We get some great argy-bargy about Brexit, about discussion of the coronavirus. All these things are possible. And I've got the Skype here if somebody wants to call. So there we are. Fantastic. We've got the Skype on the go if somebody wants to call. Wonderful. There's all the contacts up. Yes. Excellent, and uh, we should be seeing that. So we're live on there. Excellent stuff. I'm, I'm surprised all the contacts haven't come up, though. I'm just wondering why that is. I'll maybe go out and come back in at some point, because that's a little bit strange. I normally see something else with the Skype, and we can get people on. Anyway, not to worry about that. We've got so much going on here. Good evening to Linda. Scotty, a fair mixture, Harry. Yes, I know, Harry, but I think, were you doing something silly at the start? And we had to just leave you for a wee while. William Walker says hello. Hello, William. Fred Walton, dinky-doo. Scotty McClure. Scotty McClure, what's going out with the Skype? Let's start. Well, I'm going to try again um, and see if I can get you on. I can't guarantee anything, of course, but um, I will try. See if we can get you going. Marvellous. I'm just wondering what is going on with the Skype, though, because it looks a bit strange. Yes. It looks a bit strange. It looks almost as if I've gone into a fresh Skype. Do you know what I mean? Not the, not the same one. There we are. I maybe try and sign out and sign in again. How about that? So there we are. Right, so we'll forget that, and um, forget that, there we are, yes, so we'll try signing in again, and see how we get on, that's what it's all about, wonderful, wonderful stuff, um, so the wonderful Fred Walton down in, are you in Manchester, Fred, so there we are, and uh, there's Ishmael, hello, my dear, hello, Ishmael, and um, people, uh, Nasser Aliden, Nasser Aliden, yes. People bulk buying McClure's pies, they will be. Hi, Scotty from Southport. A big hi to everyone at the Mighty Radio there. Paul Tasker, wonderful to hear from you. Dinky do. There we are. Peter Connolly, trying to ring, mate. You're not online. Yeah, we're getting there. Calm, calm. Do not panic. We will get there, I tell you. All things are possible with faith. Yes, we need to get a bit of faith, and we'll see if we can get you on. I'm just having a, a quick look through some stuff here to see what's what. Um, and don't panic. Do not panic. We will sort it. That's what McClue does. We sort things. We're very, very clever with everything, and we sort things. So they are. I'm not saying I'm very clever. But as a nation, we're very, very clever, and we can sort so many things together. That's why we have the live stream. Very, very important. Let's see how things are going here. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Right. We will come across what's going on here. I'm just sorting out the Skype for Mr. Stallione, guys. Patrick Lynn's watching Peter Connolly. Uh, so that, uh, it's actually the wee tune of Dumfries, Scotty. Ah, Harry, you're a Dune Hamer. You've got the Nith there. Do you know, when I was a little boy, I paid a visit to Dumfries, Buns Cottage, all the food bit, and, uh, and what have you. 
And there was a wonderful dance band, Max Houliston's dance band from the Hole in the Wall. Uh, all that sort of stuff. And uh, have you ever stocked up on pasta and toilet roll? No, I never have. David Greening, Scotty Dinky Do, Gordon Hadley. Uh, Nasur Liden from Glasgow, Dinky Do. What's happening for the coronavirus? Well, we're discussing it. We're having a coronavirus special. The new internet radio station I mentioned to you is about a month away now, Liverpool Live 24-7. I need you to do a fun-in show, says the wonderful Rod Keir. Well, Rod, uh, that sounds great fun. Hello, pal, you've had a good weekend. Thomas Hamilton, Jim Fanko, and thank you very much for asking, Rod. Trolls everywhere, says Jim Fanko. Jim, places are wash with them. Do not worry. McClure is fly for all that. Although we did lose the start of a broadcast last week because of an idiot that came on. So there we are. I'm just checking to see if I can do some stuff here for this man. McClure never gives up, you see. We never give up. We don't like to give up. So there we go. What have we got here? Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. What have we got here? Right. Now, um, that's that one. So we like that. Okay, so I'll see what's what. Right, I'm going to try something else on here and see if we can get this sorted. Fantastic. The wonderful Kareem Sakaraya. Hello, Scotty McLean. Hope you're well. Please look after yourself. Do not catch this coronavirus. Dinky do. So there we are. Um, now, Andrew Gill, dinky do. Danny Joe, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. I've built an igloo out of toilet roll. Don Jackson, can you believe if you're into TikTok, go on to TikTok, look up at Scotty McClue. I've just started TikTok a few weeks ago, and thousands upon thousands have come and joined me. It's fantastic. So there you are. Fred Walton, dinky do. If we got coronavirus on eBay, we could send it back. Problem solved. John Ball, tell 10 to tell 10. Somebody on the YouTube channel came up with a great idea. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 20 to tell 12 to tell 20 to tell 30 to tell 40, 50, 60. And keep telling people. Tell 10 to tell 10, David Gardner. Third person in Britain's died now after the coronavirus. Bless them, John R. Jackson. Not good news. Just heard the third person's died since Tony Mac from the coronavirus. Say most of us will be okay if we get it. It's the elderly and those with underlying health issues that are the greatest at risk. Well, it's your lungs. That's the problem. Um, I'm off to Euro Disney. My wee six-year-old, my oldest daughter, who's 30, just went into remission after a six-year battle with cancer. My two grandchildren thinking of cancelling says Peter Conley. Well, they will be disappointed, but it might be rather um, <clears throat> important that, uh, you know, somebody in remission from cancer doesn't get an added complication, Peter, I've got to say. Marianne says, scaremonger as far as I'm concerned, takes attention away from more serious matters. Not entirely sure about that, to be honest with you. Uh, so there we are. Right. I'm going to see if I can get this right for you, Mr. Stallone. Okay. Right. I'll just be a second. More important things. You think coronavirus is a distraction. Not sure about that. What does everybody else think about that one? Um, El Salvador, send me the Skype username. Skype username is scotty.mcclue, but don't ring yet. You might be appearing offline on Skype, says Jackie McCauley Brody. I'm just going to check now. I'm just kind of signing in here to see how we get on. See if I can get everything going here. And um, oh, this is wonderful. Who knows if it'll work or not. But it's great fun trying, isn't it? There we go. Excellent. Right, we'll try this. See what happens here, guys. Very, very good. 
Any success? Ah, there we are. Success. You never give up, you see. The wonderful Mel Booth's watching. Thank you, dear Mel. Always lovely to hear from you. You are a real top man, a true radio man, a great administrator, a fine manager, and um, a wonderful sales consultant. So I say dinky-doo to you. There are so many top people. I don't know, Mel, if you got down to Red Rose last week, I believe the church um, has uh, come to the end of its life. You say, aha, what is this? Hello, good evening. You're live on Scotty McLeod's Facebook live stream. Hello, Scotty. Can you hear me? I can, yes. Thank you, do. Lovely to hear you. It's a little bit crackly. How's that? Scotty, you there? Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? Can, can I hear you, Scotty, mate? Can, can you hear me? I'll ring you back, Scotty. No, it should, no, it should be fine. <laughs> He's ringing us back. Right, we'll see. He's maybe not got his, uh, got his headphones turned up. Sergey Kakin, lovely to have you with us. Coronavirus. Uh, so there we are. Oh, no, we're not going down that road. Great to hear you, Scotty, says David Carr. Dinky do, David. Turn it off and back on, says David Gardner. I love it, David. Fantastic stuff. Turn it off and back on. It must be the proper Skype, Scotty, because I've seen it. We've had two chats. No, it's fine now. It just took a little while to get it sorted out. Mark's watching. Mark Ferry, I'm here. Did I miss anything? You missed lots, Mark. Fantastic stuff. Me and Scotty would have a good chin wag, says El Salvador. Well, we're having one. So here he is. Let's hear how it's going. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Can you hear me now? I think it's Scotty. Sorry? Turn it off and back on, David Gardner. I love it, David. Can you hear me? Fantastic stuff. Turn it off and back on. That's the problem. It must be a proper Skype, Scotty, because I've seen it with two chats. Hello, El Salvador. It just took a little while to get it sorted out. Hello, El Salvador. Mark Ferry, I'm here. Did I miss anything? You missed lots, Mark. Fantastic stuff. Turn it off and back on. Hello, El Salvador. We're here. El Salvador. We've been with you for a good long time now. Hello, Mark Ferry. Hello. Can you hear me now? Hello. Hello, El Salvador. Hello, El Salvador. So they are right. Well, we had all of that, I think. Uh, there we are, wonderful. But uh, something at his end, I think. Uh, he's got to allow some real chat going on. Hugh Beatty's watching. Dinky do, Scotty McClure says, X Melissa, there we are. Fantastic. Gregor Fleming's watching us. Dinky do, Neil Gormley. Mark Gippert, or Gippert, I think we said, did we? Gippert or Gippert. There we are. He's ringing again. Let's see if we can, uh, if we can hear him. Right. Hello. Here he comes. Hello. Hello. Hello, Scott. Hello, how are you? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? I'm getting no sound of the... Uh, well, we can... I don't well, understand this, mate. We could definitely so hear you. me. Well, we could definitely hear you. It was brimming out um, for well, long enough. There's no sound coming back from can, you. Can you so hear me? Bit... Can you hear me? This conversation. Can you hear me? I can hear you now, Scotty. Right, yes. there you go. Good, good. Excellent. We had you live, and it was booming out, and you weren't talking to me. We could hear well, everything. What was happening, Scotty, for some strange reason, on one of the calls, you accepted the call, and then I was watching you on YouTube, not realising we was connected to Skype still. All ah, right, excellent stuff. I see what was going on. Right, and anyway, never mind all that. How are yep. things with you? It's always up and down with me, Scotty, mate. Um, sometimes I'm out of hospital, most of the time I'm in these days. Right, you're having uh, a tough time of it. I am, mate. I only just got out two weeks ago with another uh, chest infection again. Yes. Now, so, uh, what uh, about this coronavirus? Well, let's talk about it, Scotty. I've always said most things mainstream media are probably scaremongering tactics. 
Now, I say this because all of a sudden, coronavirus come on the scene, all the news channels, blah, blah, blah. They never stopped any import, export, whether that was stuff coming into the country or going out. Mm. Then, my local city, Salford, yeah. um, they allowed people from China to come in. And also, there was a lot of Chinese student doctors in, um, in the hospital. Yeah. So, basically, they didn't care in regards to quarantine. So, yes. someone who cares about a nation or their own country would put a massive quarantine ban on a country they believed where the coronavirus was. We didn't see that, Scott. Right. So, that's one. Right. So, uh, you think that the government's not handling it terribly well? No. So, right. there's... Supposed to be this huge plague pandemic, yeah. all that if things would be in place, you wouldn't start thinking about shutting schools down three months down the line unless you you knew what would happen and you allowed it to happen. Absolutely, yeah, very very fair. So that's one of it. Yeah. The second thing, I believe that they've given this name corona coronavirus, but I believe it was the virus that everyone had. During Christmas time. Ah, so you think it's been about for a longer time? A very long time. I, I had this... Uh, why why, 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 why do you, why'd you say that? Why I say it is because it's supposed to be the year, year of the chest infection. This chest infection has stayed around and stayed around and not gone, Scotty. So they know this and there's people that... Are sh are we breaking up here, Scott? No, I'm not breaking up. You're fine. Right, OK. I can just hear myself a bit in the background. Yeah. So basically, what's happened is, there's been this virus that seems to be mutate, mutating and not going away. I had it myself, my partner had it myself, family members had things that felt like the flu, but they were slightly different than the flu, right? Yeah. We've all had it, kind of thing. Yeah. And uh, we've got our bodies quite... Or off naturally, like it would with a flu. Mm -hmm. or, or somewhere down the line, what was presented to a GP or hospital, be given some antibiotic and got rid of it that way. Mm -hmm. So that's my take on it. I mean, it's supposed to happen in China, yeah? Yeah. I did, I've seen research done in China where they closed the sea, the sea market where they sold the fish or whatever. And they've done studies, and there was no coronavirus in the Chinese uh, fish food market. Right. 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 I think it's strange, strange miles and miles away in Italy. There's more suspected people in Italy than China. It makes no sense, Scotty. It's uh -huh. like they've got it from China and put it on the European shores to scare us all. It yeah. makes no sense. Excellent. Do you, or, do you Scotty, or, or anyone on the show, know anyone, give me one person with coronavirus, and I believe, I do not know anyone with it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put this out to the universe now, Mr. Stelione. Yes. And thank you okay. for your call. I'm very glad right. we got it sorted. Well, if you've got to go, no, mate, I want yeah. to make this clear. Right? I've spent, like I said, 65 days in hospital care and I've seen all walks of life. Yeah. Filipinos, Indians, British, Italians, you name it. If I've not caught coronavirus and I'm a very vulnerable person with bronchial sepsis, of course. right? That means pathogens get in my lungs and they, they have to weigh up my lungs. If I haven't got it, you'll be okay. But let's touch on the toilet toilet roll before I go. Yep. I tend to differ I tend to differ to what you say where we don't need this toilet roll. Anyone who knows about how the chest is affected, it also affects the digestive system. So what I believe is happening right now, Scotty. Because a lot of people are suffering with their digestive and stomach problems, and they are believing that maybe they have some kind of virus ah, or the coronavirus is setting in. Right. That's what I believe, mate. Right. Okay, Scott. So, excellent. Listen, okay, lovely Scott. talking to you. Take great care of your dear self. Thanks for the Sky. Hello, See you, buddy. What well, well, man. There we are. Right. That's him on from, uh, from Manchester, well, from Salford. Manchester people don't like, uh, Salford people don't like being, uh, people saying they're from Manchester. Uh, Kareem Zachariah, Scotty, do you think they'll close the schools because of this terrible virus? I think we have to see just what the spread is like. So there you are. 
Um, Jada Spain, Dinky Doos Live, Shane S. Real excellent stuff. You got that fridge, says Brett. I'm a lung sufferer, uh, bronchial sepsis, says El Salvador. So he knows what he's talking about. And um, wonderful stuff. I isolate six different pathogens in my lungs. Not one is corona. So that's very interesting, isn't it? There you go. Incredible stuff. And uh, there are now uh, 273 people with confirmed coronavirus infections in the UK. The Department of Health and Social Care has said. How very, very interesting. So there we are. Uh, Stuart will have to uh, delete your comment and because uh, you said a sweaty word. And we do not want that. So there we go. Excellent. Right, so Stuart has had a lifetime ban because he swore on Scotty McClure's live stream. Uh, Numpty Head, you're online now on Skype. Yes, I am. Uh, I'm sure I used to listen to you on Scott FM when I was younger. Says Ian Wood, you would, Ian. I was with Scott FM for two and a half years. Fantastic. And uh, that was the most successful radio figures ever for a talk show. We were up to about almost quarter of a million per half hour. Right, so that's um, half a million per hour for three hours every night. One and a half million people listening to Scotty McClure on the radio in central Scotland. There are only 2.2 million people in central Scotland, so you do the math. How good was that? Um, what do you think about uh, the Americans not buying R? Well, we're not going to that, Tony, because that is a proprietary brand. So I'll just take that out. Scotty, my friend, Dinky Doo, says William Christie. Dinky Doo, William, lovely to have you with us. And uh, that's it. There's Damien there. What we'll do, Damien, we'll just pop you off. Wonderful stuff. And um, I think it's your Skype, mate. No El Salvador. My Skype was absolutely fine once we get it up, but it doesn't matter. We've spoken, and that's what matters. Annie Donald's watching, and Michael Yule, dinky do. Duncan McCrone, what a top man you are, is watching. Wonderful man. Uh, ditch the Skype, Scott. You're not one of your best ideas. Now, Fred, why do you say that? Because you're quite an opinionated character. And if it doesn't suit you, you think it doesn't suit the rest of the world, right? Now, that's not always the case, Fred. So tell me why you want to ditch the Skype. There we are. We had a couple of swearers, and we had to ditch it from that. Uh, let's hope your family will be safe, says John R. Jackson. Yes, let's hope we'll all be safe, guys. Loving the show, says the wonderful Peter Lockwood, dinky-doo. Uh, Big Ian's watching. Lovely to have you with us, Ian. Uh, my phone died. Uh, what's been said about South Lanarkshire? Not very cool news. Stay safe, people. Jav Salim, dinky-doo. Alex Martin, welcome. Hope it sounded okay, Scotty. I could hear myself echoing. No, you were fine, El Salvador, once we sorted it out. But we've got a guy saying ditch the Skype, not one of your best ideas. So we need to find out why he's saying that. If it's just the technical side, fine. But I want to know what your thinking is. What do you think of the Skype, folks? Give me feedback. We're a talk show. Uh, Wuhan is one of the only places in the world with specialist testing labs for Ebola, SARS, and Corona. Funny how the government blame it on the food market. I reckon it's leaked, says Paul Max. So you think it's been leaked from a lab uh, intentionally or unintentionally? Why have they allowed it to be flown around the world? Uh, says Peter Lockwood. Very fair comment, Peter. Uh, so there we are. Jav says he's selling toilet roll for four quid. <laughs> Where exactly in Lanarkshire have people got it, says Paul? I don't think they have. Can you say a big hi to Ian? Says Angel. Of course I can, Angel. Not a problem at all. If you've just joined us, folks, and you're wondering what on earth's going on, you're watching Scotty McClue live streaming live on Facebook Live. Just for you, one of the world's great streaming platforms. We're into, I think, I think it's our fourth year now. 
And the figures did drop a little bit because I don't want it to get samey, but um, we're also streaming live on YouTube, on the Scotty McClure YouTube channel. So get yourselves on there. If any of you are feeling flush and you'd like to make a small contribution, paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClure or uh, gofundme.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClure. So there you are. Skype working, Scotty. I think you need a mobile phone, mate. Will you take calls and only have it on during the show? Put it on loudspeaker. Ignore him, Scotty. I will, El Salvador. I thought it was absolutely fabulous. They thought that, um, oh, my goodness, Tony. Very good. There we are. Uh, I'll not let it go out because it's not the best of taste, but very funny. Uh, Navid will be selling Mother's Pride for a tenner. So there we are. Cheers, Scotty's Angel. Nice channel here. Not like the idiots on the YouTube channel. Yeah, but Brian, I think the idiots um, are just young. When you start something new, public service, uh, live streaming, you always get some idiots on to start with. Then we'll get down to proper discussion and debate. But, uh, you know, Skype's a great Scotty. Great Scotty. Uh, another string to your bow, says Ian Stewart. Skype is great, Scotty. Another string to your bow. There we are, Ian Stewart. Thank you. So they are. So we need to find out what that chat was on about. So he's saying not your best idea. Maybe it didn't suit him, you know. Hi, Tony. This is my ex-angel, Dinky you know? I phone on speakers so I can listen and I can call at night free of charge, clear for all. Peter Lockwood, the Skype is free. We're just a couple of silly wee boys. Um, I spoiled it for everybody and we had to ban it, you know. But uh, tonight's been a good pop-up, guys. Can we all share, please? And um, can you all follow me on Facebook? There's another big Facebook page with Scotty McClure. There's about 6,000 of you. There's about 3,000 of you in the fans. So let's start to expand this a bit now. So Skype is Skype-tastic, says John Jackson. Yes, I mean, if you're trusted, feel free to Skype. You're always very, very welcome. My goodness me, have you ever heard the expression, time flies when you're having fun? I've just seen how long we've been up here tonight. So everybody have a share, guys, as much as you possibly can. I'm just going to share to the Scotty McClue group. Let everybody know what's happening there as well. Idiots make you or they try to break you. So there we are. They inherited it from their parents. Yeah, but it's a shame that two little idiots have meant that the world can't Skype Scotty McClure. So there you are. Until we get a little, um, what, what do we call it? A, a profanity device. That's the stuff. And then we can see what's what. Uh, I'm going to just share to a group. Fantastic. Share in a group. Wonderful. There we are. Uh, oh, we've got a share there as well. That would be tremendous. So there we go. I've got another share. I'll see what's happening here. And we'll see if we can get one of the groups up and let them know that we're on. Excellent. So we're sharing in a group. I'll put it into the Scotty McCrew group. Now, guys, I've got housekeeping for you, so don't dash off. Very good. Um, there we are. We'll just see what happens there. Scotty McClue fan group for fans. Are you all a member of that? Josh Raffin tried to Skype. My phone's got a virus. Somebody ring up. Sorry about the joke earlier. What do you think about the Scotland rugby result against France? The match official was right to send off the French player for punching one of the Scottish players. Oh, absolutely. We don't put up with that. I remember learning rugby from a top rugby internationalist. And we all took off down the pitch, chucked the ball out, uh, you know, in the line, and somebody did something wrong, I don't know if it was a forward pass or whatever, and he just stopped us and he said, guys, we either do this properly or not at all. So there we are. Makes a nice change, uh, it says Angel, Scotland going big, always. Travelled from Italy recently to the UK. El Salvador did. Ah, there we are. Uh, incredible stuff. Right, I'm doing lots of sharing here. So uh, it's it's all good stuff. It really is. I'm going to see, I can think we can also share to different things. 
And I'm just thinking about doing that. Wonderful. And if you can all share as well, let everybody know. That would be tremendous. And I know you get a lot of stuff through from Scotty McClue on your page, guys. But just run with it. If it really, really bothers you, you can obviously sort out your notifications. But you want to get everything through for Scotty McClue. Uh, breaking news, breaking news, says El Salvador. Uh, Scotland, but we lost a bet in France. No good, says Angel. Oh, Angel, for goodness sake, I ask you. So there we are. So shall we say nine o'clock for pop-ups on a Sunday night? Unless I'm just so maxed, we can't squeeze it in. And we did YouTube tonight at eight o'clock. So the Scotty McClure YouTube channel, there's almost 700 pieces of fantastic video and audio for you. So they are for your information, your education. Miller Jenkinson, what we'll do with you is just block you. So there we are. Miller thought he was being funny there, so he did something puerile, and he's now got a lifetime ban. Good for him. Very funny, eh? Someone from North Manchester General Hospital has died. There we are. And uh, Charlie Parker, lovely to hear from you. What we'll do with you, Charlie, I think probably lifetime ban. There we are. Fantastic. And Liam, how lovely. Lifetime ban for Liam. So there he's gone. Excellent. We love that. Tremendous stuff. One of these internet gangs, so we just have to get rid of the lot. Uh, Maria's watching. Thank you, Maria. Lovely to have you with us and a very warm welcome. <clears throat> if you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. Very strange. A little bit of green-eyed monsterism for you. I had a guy on last week and he's going, oh, you think you know it all, you think you're... I thought, what are you even doing on my Facebook page? And I just completely gave him a lifetime ban, you know what I mean? Very, very strange. Breaking news, excellent. We've got a lot on here, guys. We are live. Um, hello, getting our walking boots ready for me. This is Amanda Jimison. Lovely. Uh, the good weather's coming, guys. Another couple of weeks. So there we are. Uh, right, thanks for that, El Salvador. There we go. Now, Maria's watching... Let's see. So we'll not say that. We'll take that down just now, El Salvador, until we've got proper information. There's Anthony Griffiths. Lovely to have you with us. But you're being cheeky, so we'll give you a lifetime ban. And Anthony has gone. Never to be heard of again on the Scotty McClue stream. There you go. You've got to be quite firm, haven't you, really? You can't have idiots on your stream. How is the um, landscape tonight, guys? Do you like the landscape? Give me feedback. Tell me what you think about it, because we're in landscape tonight, which I think is rather fun. Wonderful. Because uh, we're normally in portrait, have been. And then it was one of my friends said last week, in fact, the same friend that actually suggested I go live on Facebook in the first place. He said, you're quiet, McClure, and when you're quiet, you're up to something. I said, no, not up to anything, just uh, living the quiet life, living the dream. And uh, he said, uh, have you thought about doing Facebook Live? I said, do I need a new computer? He said, no, no, you just click the icon. So I clicked the icon, nothing happened, and then it said, go live. So I, I better brush my hair. I think it was 11 o'clock on a Saturday night. You can still see show number one. I'll put it up for you. It's quite funny. And, of course, all these wonderful hearts. And that came flying at me. Scotty, we thought you were dead. Uh, one suggestion was asking 70s and over not to attend sporting events and social events to prevent getting the coronavirus. Yes, I can see that. Uh, it's proper breaking news, mate, but okay. Yep. Do you think the media is generating too much hype over the coronavirus, says Tony. Um, I think the media, if they haven't got anything else, um, you know, I mean, I, I can always remember an editor saying to me, uh, he rang me on the phone, he said, Scott, hey, just to let you know, so you're not shocked that you're on the front page. Uh, to, it was a huge publication. He said, you're on the front page tomorrow uh, unless there's an air crash or something. Um, so that was that. Very strange. 
Uh, Ian says, hello, Scotty. It was him that Bert and France know me. I'm a good guy. Landscapes great, says Brian Hall. Thanks, Brian. Better than all. I'm wondering if maybe I shouldn't have done all these portraits, you know, but here's landscape. But it means I'll look away to read the comments. Is that okay? Does it look quite natural? You know, we're quite at home. Wonderful. Don't know about the rest of you. I'm worried about my elderly family, says John. I understand, John. I think everybody probably is. Absolutely. Can we do another share? Tell 10 to tell 10. I'll just put live now, shall I? Live. No. So there we are. Sharing on the old timeline. Live now. Uh, I need a capital L for live, do I? I had an idiot today saying, oh, you put all these capital letters in, I can't read it. I said, well, you know, I mean, every word I say is important. Well, that's why I do capital letters before every word. Some great arguments, of course, over Brexit. I still think Brexit's been a massive act of self-harm. You know, we'll see what happens. Uh, the media prefer to have you in a constant state of fear. It's easier to control people that way. Just watch the news. There's never a happy story. You know, you've got a very interesting point, Ian Wood. I mean, it was the church that used to control us. And um, now, of course, uh, you know, the old media has got the place. I was surprised so many people fell for the stories about Brexit and about Europe and all that. Because remember, the mainstream media had a vested interest in getting away from the EU so they didn't have to pay high tax. You know, that was the whole thing. And everybody with Brexit, they've all been what from the back by the Hoory Henrys. Fantastic stuff. Wonderful. So there you go. Uh, yes, yes, on the news now. So there are Jordan Crane. How lovely to hear from you. And uh, But because you're being silly, a lifetime ban. Bye, Jordan. There we are. He's gone. Excellent stuff. Uh, Scotty, I'm running late. What have I missed? Charles McLaughlin. Lovely to have you with us. You missed a most fantastic stream tonight in discussing the coronavirus. And uh, we've had subjects. We've also had Skype. So somebody Skyped us. So if you want to Skype us, Charles, you're always welcome. <clears throat> Peter Lockwood, age 60. Sad. Yes, very, very sad. Bless them. Yes, yes, El Salvador. Why are people after you? No, don't worry about that. There's no problem, El Salvador. It's just a wee bit of silliness. You can relax about that. Uh, your Skypes went off. I tried to call you. Not at all, Numpty Heat. You ring in and let's have you. Let's have you on here, Numpty Heat. Never a problem. We're waiting on you. Here we go. That's it. So I've just seen a missed call. So do give us a call, Numpty Heat. Always happy to hear from you. And uh, we can chit-chat when you come on. So there we go. How's the time? Oh, my goodness. Gonna have to go soon, guys. Oh, here's Numpty Head. Numpty Head. <laughs> Thank Hello. you, dear Mr. McClure. Thank you, dear Numpty Head. How are we? I'm doing fine, my old mucker. How's yourself? Well, better for hearing you. We had a guy saying he thought the Skype wasn't a good idea. <laughs> Aye, that's just one of my fellow numpty heads, Scotty. And you just heads. ignore him. Just ignore it and go with the sky. Aye, Mother Superior Ken's is it. You'll be caught. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, what's happening in your world? Well, Scotty, I've been watching the Doomsday Clock with interest. Right. You know how it's sitting at two minutes to twelve? Yes. Well, it's been stuck there for the last 20 minutes. I think it's stopped. Right. Aye. So and here, did they put the clock mark? Did they put the clock mark in, in, at the end of October? Oh, I the saw, go back. I, I, I saw well, well, spring forward, so we'll be going forward soon. I, I don't know exactly well, yeah, when. That's not the clock. It's got a, well, I knew we were into it then. Yes, yes, absolutely, but it's not tonight. No. Yeah, last night. Can I get you a wee tune on my mythy? Oh, I think you should. I think we'd love that. Now, you hear how you're used to hearing the odd hymn? Yeah. Uh, are we in a minute? I know that, Robert. Yeah. Well, I'm going that's to try not rubbing. That's, that's beautiful. 
I'm going to try something different. Right, something different. Excellent stuff. It's a pop song, Scotty. Oh no, no we can't. We no, we can't have. Pop. No, Numpty Head, we can't have a pop song on. Oh no, it's just a verse. No, but we'll not be able to have it's it on. Done. No, but we'll not be able to have it on because of the copyright. Aye, that's only for the mainstream media. And the no, 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 trust me, no, that. trust me, social media. Yep, absolutely, you'll get, we'll get a copyright claim. Would you get bothered? Yes, I'd get bothered, sorry about that. You know, it's all right, when oh, Hamish, yeah. Hamish used to do the old hymn, that was great. Uh, I know, well, how come, how come there's no copyright on the hymns? Well, it just depends what hymns it is. Well, if it's hers. <laughs> well, if it was hers. I always remember an old lady giving money to the Salvation Army at Christmas. And the guy said to her, the guy said to the conductor of the Silver Band said, thank you for your donation. What hymn would you like? And she went, him with a big drum. <laughs> so you were going to say, it's lovely to hear you. I'm going to have to pass. But we'll catch up soon. Yes. What a top man you Great are. Nice Love to your wee dog. We'll catch you again soon. Dinky do. Dinky do. There we are. That's our up to hit. Very good. But he was going to play a pop song, and we don't want to be doing that. <laughs> One of the great things, of course, is that we don't have a problem with the copyright because we're a talk show. We're on a roll now, Scotty. We're on a roll. Absolutely. Uh, El Salvador, social media, wonderful. So there we are, copyright infringement, absolutely there would be El Salvador. So we don't go for that. So I had to stop old Numpty Hood on his, his uh, Numpty Hood on his missy. Numpty Hood on his missy. Uh, wonderful stuff. If you've just joined us, welcome, welcome, welcome. Can everybody share, please? That would be tremendous. So we can all get sharing. Share, share, share it to share. Uh, Scotty, you're not bringing back the Facebook Live video chat back. That was good. So there we are. The video chat. When did we do that one, El Salvador? Oh, yes, yes. Some balanced, reasonable advice for anyone who is feeling anxious about COVID-19. So there we are. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Thomas, for that. But uh, we'll not be mentioning people. Uh, so there we go. That's true. I'll just take that down. But thanks very much for that. Excellent stuff. Now, <clears throat> who can tell me what the time is? Oh, for goodness sake, it's time I wasn't here. We need to go. Right, guys, what a fantastic show tonight. Great wee show, Captain, my Captain. George Raffin, lovely to hear from you. We'll maybe get a Skype at some point. We'll get organized. And uh, we will build and build and build. Wonderful stuff. Right. The goodbye song. Are we ready? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Of Vitor Zin. Au revoir and cheerio. Cheerio, my loves. Have a fantastic time. We could stay on for another few hours. We've got a great audience. Nice to see you, Scotty Power. Pleasure as always. See you soon. Take care, my friend. You too. El Salvador. Good night and God bless. Scotty, I'm working logistics, moving cars about the country. I'm going to give it up. Peter Connolly, stick with it just now till you get something better. Look at Brexit. We came out of all that. Night, Scotty, says Tony. Cheery bye. Take care, says Angel. Ta-ra, loves. Ta-ra now. Dinky-doo. Scotty McClure has left the building. Oh-ho. Have a good week, Scotty, says Charles McLaughlin.